Hey guys, I'm Glitter Valkyrie, and today we're going to pull on the Spring Eternal banner. I've actually skipped a couple of the Spring banners over the years because I don't always love the theme, but there is no way that I could skip this year. So we will talk about these characters as we go along, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I want to start out by saying that I'm sorry if I don't sound quite like myself. I'm recording this super late at night after work. I know it's a terrible idea, but <laughs> I didn't want to wait a couple of days to pull for all of these adorable bunnies. So here we are. <laughs> and as I said, I'm actually super excited to pull for these characters because I think they made some amazing choices on this banner. Um, I don't always love the bunny theme. I feel like it's super hit or miss, but they put my favorite Feoc on this banner, so there's no way that I could not pull. Um, <laughs> I think that Triandra looks amazing. I think that they made her super, super strong, and I know that I will get a ton of use out of her, especially with her new B skill. I love that they're doing something new and fresh for dancers, and I think that <laughs> she's definitely my number one choice for the banner. And so if we get to 40 and we don't get anything, I feel like we will have to take her, but I'm hoping that it doesn't come to that because I want the other five stars as well. And let's go ahead and pull this red. <laughs> I think that maybe after this first circle, we probably shouldn't pull too many just because I really want to focus on getting the five stars, even though I think Ash is absolutely adorable. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think that that's what we'll probably do. Um, but I was saying that aside from Triandra, I'd also love to get the duo. I think that they're also adorable. Um, I have kind of a love-hate relationship with Freya. Um, she is an accidental plus 10 for me. I never planned to do that. Um, but now I actually really like her. <laughs> and so I'm really hoping that we get the bunny goat. Um, I also think they're going to be very, very strong. They're probably the strongest um, unit on the banner. Um, but I also want to get Bernie too. <laughs> they're just too many good things. Um, Bernadetta is probably my favorite Black Eagle. I think that she is adorable. I totally resonate with her being an introvert who just likes to craft in her room. I totally get that. <laughs> and I think that she was like the perfect choice for this banner. Um, I think that this art is probably the best art that she's had in Faye. It's just perfect. And I love that she has her little stuffy. It's so cute. <laughs> and I just love everything about her. So um, <laughs> I'm really, really hoping that we can get them today. And I guess I've kind of covered everybody, but before we move on to viewer questions, I wanted to briefly talk about A Hero Rises because I was super surprised with how it went and I was wondering how you guys are feeling. Um, I'm actually really happy with the results. I do not have Formotus, um, and now I can make a super cute Sacred Stones theme team that everybody's gonna totally destroy, but it's gonna be cute, so I'm gonna be happy. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I was very, very surprised with how things turns out, but um, I actually started on Team Camilla and then I moved to Team Veronica just because I feel like they worked so hard and I wanted to give them a little leg up. <laughs> and so um, now I hope that everybody that is pulling for those characters gets everybody that you're looking for. I think it's going to be a very strong banner. Um, but yeah, I think now I've talked about everything I wanted to discuss. <laughs> so let's go ahead and answer our viewer questions. And as always, if I did not get to your question, I am so sorry. I will try to do it in a future one. And if you think of a question that you'd like to ask me, just leave it in the comments with hashtag question, and I will add your question to my list. And so our first question today comes from Untitled Account, and they ask, do you have a Gen 1 unit that you still use in Fae? Oh my gosh, I have so many that I still use. <laughs> I think that what really keeps me going in this game is using my favorites because I'm really not a meta person. Like I will always pick my favorite over like the most broken character because I just get more fun um, playing the game that way. And so characters like my Sarah, she was my first plus 10 project. I still use her to this day all the time. And I always love to give her new gifts whenever possible. Um, I get a ton of use out of her. Um, I still use my regular Xander and my Krom. Um, I still use Elise and Micaiah. There are just so many. <laughs> so my answer is yes, I use my Gen 1 units all the time. Um, but thank you for that great question. And let's go ahead and answer our next one. And this comes from Kokichi Ultimate Supreme Leader. And they ask, what is a Fire Emblem villain that made you hate them the most in terms of how heartless they were? Okay, so I am not somebody who usually enjoys most villain characters unless they have like a super sad backstory or they're very nuanced. So I like characters like um, Leon and Zephiel, but the vast majority of villains I do not like. But if I had to narrow it down to one that I dislike the most, I'd probably go with Trevant. 
um, just because <laughs> I'm not going to spoil anything, but he does something to two characters in a place in front of another character, and it's probably one of the most cruel things I have ever seen in a Fire Emblem game. And if you really think about how it went down, it was just so needlessly cruel, and it still bothers me to this day, even though it's been a couple of years since I played that game. Um, I just think it's terrible, and so he's probably my most disliked villain. Um, but I would say that Garen's probably also a close second because he is like a really terrible dad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that'd be my answer. Um, but thank you for that great question. And uh, let's go ahead and answer our next one. And this was actually asked by a few different people. This comes from Frost Branded Noble and Cosmic Starlight EX and Lindius. And they all asked about my thoughts on Dia being added to the standard pool of five-star characters in Genshin Impact. And then I also had a bonus question from Lindius, and they asked, as a new player of Genshin for two months, which of the characters in 3.5 would you recommend as a free-to-play or should I wait for future banners? Okay, so let's start with talking about Dia. Um, I was actually super happy to see that she was gonna be in the five-star pool because I really like her as a character. Um, I think that she is so well written, has a great personality, and I would love to get pity broken by her. So I was really, really happy with that. Um, I wish she were maybe a little bit more powerful, but I would love to be able to get her in the future. And as for the second question about um, pulling in 3.5, I think that if one of those characters is your favorite, then go for it because you can never go wrong with your favorites. But if you're pulling for power, I don't think that this patch is it, to be perfectly honest. Um, Adia is going to be in the five star pool, so you could get her later. Um, Sino is actually a super fun character to play. I have him and I use him and I love him, but he's not necessarily the most broken. And then um, in the second half, we do have Ayaka. Actually, she is super broken, so if you love her, go for her. <laughs> but then for Shenha, I think she is very, very niche. And um, you do need some other characters to work with her to make her shine. And so maybe hold off on her unless you love her. But I think that that would be my, um, my recommendation. But uh, best of luck if you do end up pulling. And, oh, okay. <laughs> you know what, Yuri is a very strong character, so I really can't complain. But let's check IVs. And he is plus speed, that is very, very good. <laughs> so you know what, at the very least, that is a focus charge, but we will just keep going. Um, and thank you very much for that very lucky question. And let's go ahead and answer our next one. And this comes from Michael Wright. And they ask, who are you hoping will join the game in the new year? Oh my goodness, there, there are so many characters that I wanna see and I feel like a ton of them are engaged characters. And um, I, if I had to pick a few, namely that would be Diamant and Ivy and Citrine and Allcrest and Rosado, <laughs> there are just so many. Um, but aside from them, still my number one character that I want added to Faye is Oswin. Really hoping that we see him this year. <gasps> oh my goodness, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I am so excited to see her. She's adorable. Okay, let's check IVs. And she is plus speed, that is amazing. <laughs> I am so, so happy with that. And so from now on, I don't feel like we really need to pull too many blues, but um, getting back to this very lucky question from Michael, um, I was saying that um, I'd love to see Oswin this year. I would love to see regular Dozla. Um, I would love to see like Franz and Glenn. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what, I feel like I have to be perfectly honest. He is not my favorite, but we had no pity, so that's totally fine. And he is plus res, we'll take it. <laughs> but getting back to uh, Michael's very lucky question, um, I was saying that I'd love to see like Franz and Glenn, I'd love to see Athos this year, and maybe a Dean and Linoan, that would be great. And of course, another Lara Shell alt. <laughs> Uh, but thank you for that very lucky question. And let's go ahead and answer our next one. And this comes from MS, 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 MS. And they ask what, oh, oh my gosh, that's Julia. <laughs> you know what, I love Julia, so that's like an amazing four star special for me. Okay, let's check IVs. And she is plus speed, I am more than happy with that. <laughs> so let's back out. And um, getting back to this a very lucky question from MS, MS, MS. Um, I don't even think that I got to say it. Um, but they asked, when building an engaged team, did you have any tactical focus in mind? And what were some favorite skill synergies of yours? 
Okay, I'm probably like the worst person to ask about this because I, I always pick my favorites even when they're not ideal. And that's really what I did in my maddening run. I just chose my favorite characters. I basically just threw Diamant in there with like all the gifts and buffs and just hoped that he lived. And most of the time it worked. <laughs> But my specific build for him that worked really well, um, I gave him Speed Taker and I gave him Holdout and um, I ran the Ike Ring on him and it worked really, really well. Um, but my other strong units were Ivy with the Lin Ring, that was really, really good. And I also really liked Alir and Corrin together just for the support. And then Zelkov in Fog was absolutely amazing. <laughs> he got me through so much in Maddening. Um, but yeah, I think that those were um, most of the, of the characters that I used to get through that game. Um, but thank you for that great question. And uh, let's go ahead and answer our next one. And this comes from Wyglaf. And they ask, what do you think about looking at data mines slash leaks? So I don't know if this is going to be a very popular answer. Um, I am fine with it. <laughs> I am very much guilty of looking at data mines and leaks. And um, I feel like in a lot of gacha games, they're kind of predatory in nature and to kind of like make the most out of the resources that you get, you kind of have to plan ahead. And maybe not so much in Fae because they are a little bit more generous with the resources that you get. But in a game like Genshin, they really don't give you very much and you have to plan like super far ahead if you want to get anything. And so in that game, I find leaks to be very useful so that I can plan appropriately since your resources are so, so limited. Um, I don't think that it's great to like leak things to people who don't want to see things, <laughs> but if you're looking willfully, I think that it's totally fine. Um, but thank you for that great question. Okay, this is going to be our last circle, and let's hope we get either Triandra or the duo. We're just going to keep our fingers crossed. Okay, smoke. And we get Lachesis. <laughs> Okay, so we're at our 40, but we have to pull these last two. Hopefully we can get one of them. Okay, three star. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to spark for Triandra, but um, we have to pull this green and hopefully it's the duo. Okay, smoke. That is not a bunny duo. <laughs> All right, so let's back out and we can go ahead and spark. And of course we will have to take my favorite Faye OC. <laughs> I'm so happy that we're able to spark for her. Oh my gosh, she looks amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy that we're able to get her. And we get the thing. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and end things here for now. I'm really, really happy that I was able to get Triandra and Bernie. And I can't promise that I won't go back for the duo, but overall, I'm really happy. And if you are pulling on this banner, I wish you the best of luck. Um, I also wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody that submitted questions. I can't make these videos without you, so thank you so, so much. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.